Bob. Good morning and welcome to a new video. So, it's a winter storm day today in New York City. Nor'easter finally came to East Coast and it's gonna be snowing here in New York City for the half of the day, like heavily, but then it will be gone. So it's not a really disaster, more like nice true winter day in New York City, which I personally really, really like. And I thought it's gonna be like the great start for this February vlog. So the plan is to share with you some newish coffee shops that I recently found and really, really like. Fashion-wise, I have a couple of things that I would like to talk about. My January purchase was like absolutely the best one and I also got my February purchase uh, already as well. So I'm gonna do this in a couple of days in this vlog. And other bits and bobs of my life here in New York City in February. February is probably like the least favorite uh, month for uh, most of the people and I can understand it. Winter weather in New York City could be like really, really harsh one. Plus all of this magic winter holiday time has gone already a long time ago and everyone just waiting and looking forward to spring, myself included. But I personally have a thing for February in New York City. First of all, there are much less tourists in the city during this month, which feels super, super nice if you ask me. Plus, there are always so many cool new indoors things going on in the city, like galleries, like museums, like theaters. Every season there is something new and it's never boring. And I really, really enjoy this month in New York City as well. So it's gonna be this kind of things, I'm sure, in this vlog as well. And of course, the most winter thing that could happen to New York City is a snowy day. So if you're lucky and you are here when it's snow, please drop everything and go to the Central Park. It's absolute best place to experience this magic in the city. This is a plan for me. I hope to go there today and to film around a bit. So let's go. was sweet and short snow day in New York City and now I think it's perfect time for a cup of hot latte. 
and one of the coffee shop that I wanted to show you is just few blocks away. It's a new location of Arabico Coffee, Japanese coffee shop from Kyoto. Uh, the new location is just next to the Radio City Hall. these yellow seating areas along the both walls they are actually so comfy and the quality of the coffee is just on the top as in any arabic locations and obviously they have their clean calm minimalistic japanese aesthetic here too which feels so nice and relaxing especially in midtown <laughs> and this is why i love it it's my favorite place in this area now it's perfect for a little relaxing break with a comfy seats delicious coffee right in the middle of midtown chaos There is one thing that I wanted to do for a while. Uh, my MoMA membership is almost up, so I want to renew it. And as I'm very close to the museum now, let's do it today. So now some tips about membership. You can get one year for free with this NYC ID card. Then you can renew it for another year for just $55 instead of 100. And 100 is the price for a basic membership level. And this is what I just did and I'm sure it's gonna be my best $55 investment of the year because I love to come here as often as I can and I love that I can invite everyone who visit me in New York City to come here for just $5 instead of $25 which is super super cool. So if you also love MoMA, <laughs> check their membership, it's a really great deal. Hello guys, I'm going to a Lower Manhattan. I have a cultural program for this Friday night, which I'm super, super excited and curious about even more than usually because we are going to a new performing art center that has been open like a couple of months ago and it's located next to the 9-11 memorial. The building of this new art center itself is super super interesting one. From outside it looks like a big marble magical box but inside it's actually a very flexible automated construction which allows to change the geometry of the stage, the configuration of the seats, the configuration of the stages, for example. Uh, as I know, by default they have like three stages, three different sizes, but then all the walls are movable, floor could be lifted up to two floors, I think, or something like this, and all of these three stages could be transformed into one big circle shaped one with seating all around it, which is, I think, super, super cool. To be honest, I'm not sure I'm doing a good job explaining all the genius of this building, but if you are interested, check the Architectural Digest a video about Paramel uh, Performing Art Central. 10 minutes and you will learn 
everything. So as I said, they opened like a um, couple of months ago and they already have their program for the next several months, including some uh, lobby stage concerts, which are happening every weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes on Thursday as well. And these concerts, they are um, local artist concerts, uh, different musicians, different kind of music and things like this. I monitor the schedule and today it's gonna be like piano, jazz, music, which sounds super, super nice to me. And these lobby stage concerts, they are also like admission free, which is super nice and also like a great chance to go inside and to see this super nice building from inside. But there is also like this uh, first come, first in, situation there so let's do not waste another minute and let's go and i hope we will see a concert tonight Well, it's probably not the best time for coffee now, but as I'm passing by my another new favorite coffee shop, let me just say about it. It's a new variety coffee uh, in financial district. I like to come here with my laptop. There are a lot of seats and tables inside, uh, which is super handy, and they also have a very calming vibe going on here too, which is perfect for working on your computer situation while enjoying a cup of good, delicious coffee. And I especially love those seats in front of the big panoramic windows. They are perfect for people watching too. <laughs> So yes, this is my new favorite coffee shop in Fidei for those who work in coffee shop days. Okay, now let's go to the concert. Okay, now let's do a little bit of fashion talk. I don't remember if I mentioned it in the vlogs, but actually starting from last year, I'm doing this thing when I buy only one piece of clothes 
per month and it works for me really really well first of all i choose every single piece like super super carefully plus i have a little bit of higher budget because i'm buying only one piece per month and uh, to be honest, I really enjoy the process and I really like the result. I'm really, really happy with my wardrobe right now and uh, I would say it's getting only better and better. So last month I bought at a Tem Boots. It's one of my favorite brands. I love their quality and I love their style. And this time I discovered that they had such a good post-Christmas sale. A lot of items were available for a really good price. And I personally think that the sale of this kind of brand is especially a great deal because their style is such a timeless one. So you can get a really good quality piece for a really good price and enjoy it for years. I got these boots with a 50% off, which I'm super happy about. It is Western boots in dark brown croco color. Uh, this pointy square toe and low profile situation. I love it. <laughs> so they have this super long length toe, which makes everything look so much cooler, like jeans with a simple sweater. But because of this, I think they could be ruined uh, very easily as well. So this is why I choose croco color, not the plain black one. First, I think it will tolerate some scratches better uh, and uh, visually they're still uh, uh, very versatile and easy to style I would say plus they're doing so much more for the total look I mean they look ma so much cooler compared to the black one and because they're low profile I can walk hours in them and also feel so elegant and cool and in February, I bought a Levi's jeans. They have finally made the original 501 model for women in different washes, and I love them. I don't have any unboxing footage, so I just put photo here. So it's like true thick denim, not stretchy, a stride fit more like on the narrow side of the stride jeans, which looks so flattering and I especially love it together with my new totem boots. Every time I wear them together, I feel so stylish, so cool, so chic. I love it. So I bought them in this classic blue wash, which uh, I really like. It's a really, really classic one, perfect for winter and spring and autumn, but even for summer. But to be honest, right now, I'm also thinking about the light blue color as well. They look so, so pretty. I will be putting all the images here and the names of the colors and washes and as a person with a long legs i really appreciate that levi's doing like the several length for each sizes so i got 32 one uh, which is perfect for me uh, hit my ankle like in the right point <laughs> so yeah super happy with the jeans super happy with the boots and i think that's all i wanted to talk about today so see you
I think I found my yoga studio in New York City. Finally. Last few months I explored a lot, tried uh, many different yoga studios around the city, all through Class Pass, which is actually super, super useful. And I'm also really into Pilates right now, so generally I would say I am super, super happy with my exercising routine. And actually, some of you lovely people uh, just recently asked me here and also in Instagram to do some kind of uh, yoga, Pilates, studios review. So I'm gonna do this in my next New York City uh, video, so stay tuned. And now it's time to wrap this vlog up. I hope you enjoy my little selection of cute coffee shops in New York City. And I also hope you got a little bit of inspired and found some interesting things to do in this beautiful city. And if you do, please give this video a like and subscribe to see my next New York City vlogs. And uh, please shop mindfully. <laughs> okay, I will see you in the next one. Meanwhile, please take a good care of yourself and bisu bisu.